Hey you guys! So today's video is pretty much going to be what I eat in a day as a pescatarian. Please excuse how it is that I'm actually looking because um yeah I actually did film two videos for you guys yesterday so by the time this one goes up those two will already be up. Um, one is foods that I eat for a healthy hair growth and then the other one is an Eden Body Works wash day. Using some new products as well you guys from my... So today I just figured why not pick up the camera and just actually share with you guys what I actually eat in a day because I'm actually I'm gonna get ready to make breakfast shortly um, right now I have my tea kettle going so that way I can have some detox tea which is getting ready to start whistling in a minute if you guys wondering what that is that's is my softbox lights that's what I use to actually film with so yeah <laughs> so this is what I use to film with and then this is my backdrop as you guys can see here and then that's just my chair don't mind my pillow so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is pretty much what I eat in a day as a pescatarian so enjoy you guys Alright you guys, so right now what I'm doing, I'm um, actually just enjoying my tea right here. Um, if you guys wonder where I'm at, I'm in my um, second bedroom. Yes, yeah, so I'm in my second bedroom and so right now I'm just sitting here drinking some tea. And you guys know I love this cup. If you follow me over on Instagram, you guys see me pretty much with this cup all the time. It's like my favorite cup. If you guys aren't aware, then yes, I am a Taurus. And yeah, so I just love to just have a detox tea in the morning. It just really helps to just kickstart my system my overall digestive tract in the morning because i have not actually eaten any food yet um because i'm actually just not quite hungry yet so i just like to wait a little bit sometimes i won't have breakfast until about 10 o'clock which is normal for me and which is fine because i usually don't have my lunch until about between 12 and 2 o'clock um so yeah so right now i'm just having this yogi detox tea and i love how yogi always has these cute little messages on them so yes i love that so let's see what this one says today it says if you do anything out of sheer compassion you will never go wrong i love that you guys so yeah i love yogi tea they know i love their tea i'm always tagging them in it and so right now what i'm doing what i'm actually working on um, I'm actually taking the footage from off of my SD cards and putting them into the appropriate folders so I can go ahead and start editing. So I'm just fixing to just do a little bit of that so you guys will get to actually see what I do in the day. Y'all, I have some weird ass fucking neighbors. They're so weird. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's actually what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to sit up here and enjoy my morning tea. now as you guys can see i'm here in my kitchen and what we're gonna get ready to do we are actually going to make a smoothie because um yeah your girl's hungry now and she has actually yet to actually eat any damn thing and um y'all i'm so very guilty of that i'm so guilty of just getting up going and losing track of time and my mom just called me which is why i realized what time it was so i am going to get ready to make a smoothie um this is nothing more than one of my favorite smoothies that i like to make and it is the cacao smoothie and i like to use cacao powder which is actually the organic form of cocoa powder because it is very good you guys it is so good for if you're having menstrual cramps so yes honey forget those ibuprofen or acetaminophen Get your ass some cacao powder and get with it because I'm telling you guys, it's life. The one I've been using is from Live Fit Superfood and um, it's an organic cacao powder and it's antioxidant flavanols. It has magnesium, vitamin C, and fiber. So this is the one that I've actually been using you guys for some time now. I love it and I actually purchased this at Walmart and this isn't cheap. I think this bag was like eight or ten dollars. So yeah, it's pretty pricey, but it's cacao powder. So even if you go to like Burlington or TJ Maxx or Marshall's, one of those places, you can get lucky and find the cacao powder there, the organic form, because believe me, that's where I found it initially. And yeah, you'll probably wind up paying between like five to probably eight dollars. Whereas this one you'll pay probably about eight to ten dollars. So yeah shop around you guys don't get caught up in all that jazz okay yeah so we're gonna be using some cacao powder um what else do we need we need some almond butter 
and I just gotta find where babe put mine because it looks like it's been moved. Okay, so this is the almond butter that I like to use from Marinatha. This is my favorite one, so we're gonna be using that today as well. We're gonna be needing some strawberries, you guys. And I'm gonna eat that lunch today because I can smell it. Got some strawberries here and bananas. And you're just gonna need one. And you guys will see, as I stated in my um, foods that I eat for hair growth, this is actually everything I eat. And y'all, look at these super ass ripe bananas. And we're gonna use one of them today. I'm trying to keep from opening up the other two. There we go. All right, and then you're gonna need one banana. And you're gonna need some ice cubes. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this smoothie right, my little smoothie blender right here. And what I like to do is I like to first go on ahead and put my ice cubes in here. And I usually just put like one or two, but I just really just want to have like, um, you know, my smoothie to be cold. So I put about two ice cubes in there. And then you're also going to need some almond milk, you guys. And you guys know I love almond milk. So boop, boop, boop. So, you guys know I love to use this silk almond milk, but I want to eventually convert over to actually making my own almond milk, you know, hemp seed milk. So, we're going to go ahead and add in our one ripened banana. Um, you can also, too, freeze your bananas and put them in smoothies. That's another good way to make sure that your smoothie stays super duper cold. But, yeah, I'm going to be using this fresh ripen super ripen one and then we're gonna need about three strawberries so yeah pick out three strawberries and rinse them off make sure you rinse off your produce you guys please do because produce do carry you know parasites and i don't think a lot of people realize that like people just think you know veggies are just veggies and that's it and they are but they do too contain parasites so just need to make sure that you rinse them off because so a lot of times these companies will have, you know, preservative stuff that they spray on them to try to get stuff to last a lot longer. Yeah, so I'm simply just going to do that. I'm going to cut these down like you guys see me doing here. Nothing fancy. And I use about two to three of them. Okay, so once we have that, you guys, the next thing I like to do is add my cacao powder first because I like to use the same spoon so we're not going to be wasteful. So open this up. Woo! cocoa and it smells so good guys i'm telling you and i like to add two big heaping tablespoons in here because to me this is my sweetness this is my sweet tooth this is my dessert aka my breakfast so i definitely want to make sure i get all of these good nutrients in here so again i'm putting two nice hefty sized scoops of the cacao powder in here and then i'm actually going to use two tablespoons of this marinata almond butter this is the creamy one that i love you guys like oh and I put two, two good size spoonfuls in here, you guys, because this is just gonna really just take it up a notch. It's just really gonna make it creamy. So this is the other one right here. And then we're simply just gonna spoon that in there so it can sit down on the top. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our almond milk. And this part, you add as much as you want to it. So I add a good bit, because I want to have an actual good ass smoothie today. I want it all blended out, baby. And then I just take my little lid here and I screw this on top. You guys, you can actually get this little Oster blender. This guy right here. You can get this bad boy at Walmart. Um, I got lucky and um, I think someone actually gave this to me. Or I got it at an old job that I was at. And then you just want to sit it down in here. Lock it in. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is pretty much what I do here. And you're just gonna simply just sit this in here and then you just twist it and go. All right, you guys, so once I'm done blending my smoothie, this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, does that not look delicious? And then I'm simply just gonna pour it into my little mason jar here. Yes, a great cheat. Good for breakfast, very filling, and I'm going to drink every single drop of this. Look at that, y'all. So freaking delicious. Yes, bitch. And I still got some left over. And I just like to be fancy and put my little straw in there. And y'all, this is my cacao smoothie. This is what I make. This is what I love, especially when I forget to just come in here and eat like a regular breakfast. This is breakfast. So yeah, you guys, this is gonna actually hold me for like a good three hours, maybe longer. Um, so yeah, that's probably why I eat a later lunch too, but y'all, I just love this freaking smoothie. Y'all, 
This is so rich and creamy. Yeah, I gotta hold my arm all the way out. <laughs> Y'all, these freaking strawberries are so sweet. And this is literally what I will make again on days where I forget to have breakfast. So, like, it is 11.38 and a bitch still hadn't ate breakfast. So, this is going to hold me for a while. Uh, sometimes I'll still drink this and still get some lunch because, again, this is a smoothie. So, it's not meant to hold you for super duper long. But... It definitely gives you every single vitamin and nutrient that you need. And yeah, and this is one of my favorite smoothies, you guys. And it contains a lot of the ingredients that is featured in my Foods for Hair Growth video. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out because pretty much everything I used in this one today was an epic. Okay, so for lunch this day, I pretty much had leftovers. This is a vegetable spicy pot. And it wasn't spicy, but it contains carrots peas it also has broccoli cauliflower zucchini onions and carrots i believe if i hadn't already said that and it was really really good you guys and it also has mushrooms but i took a lot of those out it just had too many and then i just had this along with my bottled water on this particular day i was at starbucks and i decided to bring my lunch with me and i do that a lot of the times when i just really just don't want to have any kind of meat i will bring my lunch with me wherever it is that i'm going for lunch that particular day All right, you guys, so we are cooking dinner right now, and we're just pretty much having just vegetables. So, babe is cutting us some bell peppers, some yellow ones. Oh, babe, the sticker's still there. Some yellow ones. And then we have some zucchini that we've already cut. And then we have, like, these orange bell peppers over here that I'm fixing to rinse. Um, we're going to use some minced garlic. I have my nonstick pan here. And then we got the uh, white potatoes, little small potatoes. An onion, white onion, and then we have these great tomatoes, and then I'm gonna use some extra virgin olive oil, and of course, my seasoning arsenal. So, like, I have a whole bunch of seasonings, you guys. A whole bunch. So, we flavor our food up. Our starch is gonna be the potatoes, so we won't use any like quinoa or rice. And yeah, y'all, it's gonna be good. So, we're gonna show you guys and yeah that's what we're eating at night all right you guys so this is dinner this is what we paid ten dollars for so and so i just pretty much just use some basic seasonings on them um some extra virgin olive oil and then we use some oregano parsley and then i like to use italian seasoning because it has like all of them in there pretty much so like yeah um what's in here spices including thyme and oregano so yeah and then also I like to use pink salt. This is what we've been using for like probably like a year now. I just really, really like it. Really, really good. And then on top of that, we got these um, God, great tomatoes. Those are about like $4 because they're like, what, two on a pound, but it's something like that. And then we got these um, onion, you guys, and they're mad cheap. I didn't use the slap your mamas. But yeah, so total all together, you guys, dinner was 10 bucks tonight. All right, you guys, so now that we have all of the other veggies in the oven, we're going to start with the tomatoes. And what I like to do is I like to actually saute some garlic in a pan with some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to use right here. And then I just start with the tomatoes and then I just add them in at a time. I don't like to put all of them in there because then um, it makes it too liquidy. And for me, it doesn't get like the tomatoes an actual chance to like cook. It's just like very like, you know, liquidy. I like to actually still have like a tomato, you know, to actually like bite into. <laughs> so yeah, low and slow for me. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to show you guys how I do that. And yeah, it's going to be good. Love it. And then I just pretty much use some of the same ones. I don't go overboard with it because, again, I'm using extra virgin olive oil and garlic. A lot of garlic. And, yeah, tomatoes. I'm good. Yeah, baby, you're good. Thank you. Thank you so much.
you guys. So I've added some more of the seasonings in here. And I've added some more of the tomatoes in here. And I'm simply just going to keep letting this, you know, low and slow. Letting this cook and simmer together. And see how the tomatoes are actually still together. They're not, like, actually breaking up. Have them down on about four. Alright y'all, so here are the tomatoes. I'm pretty much done with those. I'm not going to add any more seasoning to them. That is it. They look so freaking good. They're still whole. Here are the vegetables. You see the bell peppers. Zucchini. And then we got our potatoes over here. So they actually are cooking on 350. And they've actually been going for about 15 minutes now. So this is what they look like. It looks so freaking good, y'all. Delicious. And then you got your potatoes here. Oh, they look so freaking good. So yeah, I'm actually going to crank this up a little bit now. So that way they can actually start to cook a little bit more. So right now, I'm just going to get ready to add the actual onions onto these, um, <laughs> onto the tomatoes. And what I like to do is I like them sliced so that way I can actually just separate them and actually just place them on there. You know, like a layer and then I cover them and then I just let them cook and saute down like that and that's it. so everything is done this is what the potatoes look like and these are the veggies of course it is kind of shrunken down some but I didn't want them to cook too much I like to still have like a bite to them oh and then on top of that we still have the tomatoes with the onions <sighs> yes y'all that's not look good I just literally just put this in a bowl and eat it and enjoy it. This is going to be like four meals, literally. So we're going to eat two tonight and then we'll have two more. This is Babe's bowl. Making this one for her. She's on the phone. And I love onions. We both do, but yeah. So yeah, you make as much as you want. And I know it may seem like it's a lot, but believe me, you can eat as much as you want. And still be full and be guilty free. Mm -hmm. Guilt free. So, yeah, that is it. I'm just gonna put a little bit more tomatoes on here for her. That's really she Tomatoes. If you haven't seen my um, foods that I eat, foods for hair growth, foods for natural hair growth, definitely check that video out. I'll link it up above and below. Bring me out, y'all. Oh yeah, everything will be listed down below in the description box so that way you guys can actually make this recipe.